reign of Shepseskaf, last king of the 4th dynasty, didn't last for long, for it's possible that he ruled for four years. Then the inheritance of the throne went to a hint cows, who was a controversial queen. For it isn't known whether she was his sister or his wife, or even not related to him at all, and whether she ruled Egypt alone or didn't. Queen Hint Kaos got herself many titles, such as the Queen of Upper and Lower Egypt and the Mother of the King of Upper and Lower Egypt. The archaeologist Yonker concluded from the first title that the inheritance of the throne was confined to Hint Kaos, and that's why she had that title. Alan Gardner, on the other side, thought she had some relation to the foundation of the 5th dynasty. As for Dr. Ahmed Fakhri, he suggested that she was a daughter of Miserinius and that she didn't sit on the throne and may have been married to Wusir Kaf, the founder of the 5th dynasty, and became the mother of his two sons, who ruled after him, one after another. And they are Sahura and Nefer Irkara. Selim Hassan discussed the problem of that queen and sees that she was the legal inheritant of the throne and thus transferred this legitimacy to the 5th dynasty. It is thought also that she was a wife of a man who wasn't a pure blue blood person and when he died her son was still a juvenile so she took over the ruling of the country being his guardian. It's worth mentioning that Queen Hentkaus, according to Manithon, is equated with the name of the last king of the 4th dynasty, who is Samfitis, whose ruling period was 9 years. But in Turin's papyrus list of kings, the ruling period of Samfitis to Egypt was 2 years. Thus, Queen Hentkaus remains a controversial queen who comes second in number as a queen who ruled Egypt.